Zero turn lawn mowers have gotten out of control. Today you can find zero turn mowers that are on the smaller side, are relatively affordable and can cut grass well, or you can get a monster zero turn mower that can mow over just about anything you put under it, but costs significantly more. But how much should you spend on a zero turn mower? And what are you actually getting for your hard earned cash? Well in this video I will show you the major differences between a lawn mower that costs $3,000 versus one that costs $20,000. That's a $17,000 difference between these two mowers. Leave a comment below after you watch this video to let me know if you think it's worth the extra cost. For the sake of this video, I'll be comparing the Bad Boy MZ Rambler zero turn mower and the Altos TRX 766 zero turn mower. Now this video is just looking at the two extremes, a basic residential lawn mower versus a top of the line professional mower. I understand that no one who is shopping for a lawnmower will be comparing these two mowers side by side. However, if you want to know where all that money is going when you spend the extra cash, well this video will tell you. If you are interested in lawnmowers that cost somewhere between these two prices, I invite you to check out the Tractor Bob's YouTube channel after this video. The first mower we'll be looking at is the Bad Boy MZ Rambler, with a cash price of $31.99 to $34.99. Finance is somewhere around $74.14 a month that's going off of Bad Boy's website. The engine options that you can choose from is a Kohler 5400 19 horsepower engine and a Kohler 7000 22 horsepower engine. The second mower is the Altos TRX 766 with a cash price between $22,499 and $23,999. The finance price for this mower will start at about $234. The engine options are the Kawasaki FX999cc 37 horsepower engine or a Vanguard EFI 999cc 37 horsepower engine. And right off the bat we can see here that the engine differences is about 20 horsepower. Surprisingly, both mowers feature a 7-gauge fabricated steel deck with reinforced edges, so hats off to the MZ Rambler. The $3,000 mower comes in a 42-inch cutting width, while the $20,000 mower comes in a 66-inch cutting width. Both mowers also use the deck dial adjustment system, which is great. The cut height on the $3,000 mower is 1.5 inches to 4.5 inches while the $20,000 mower has a cut height of 2.5 inches to 7 inches. The 20K lawn mower has much larger spindles and a much higher top speed of 11 miles per hour, while the 3K lawn mower has smaller maintenance-free spindles with a top speed of 6 miles per hour. One cool thing about the 20K mower is that it has an aero deck, meaning the front edge is slanted, which actually gives the lawn mower a cleaner cut when compared to the $3,000 lawn mower mower's 90 degree cutting edge. However, the biggest difference in the mowing deck is the optional all-terrain deck that you can get on the $20,000 mower. This mowing deck will allow you to cut through insanely tall grass and is essentially a rotary cutter for your zero turn mower. The Altos TRX 766 is the only mower that I know of that features this style of cutting deck, which is essentially called a flail deck. You can do more research on that on your own. Not only will you be able to cut faster and cut much much taller grass, but the 14 gallon fuel tank that comes on the $20,000 zero turn will take you way further than the $3,000 zero turns 5 gallon fuel tank. The size difference between the two mowers is striking. The $20,000 mower weighs 1,600 pounds and has a length of 96 inches and a width of 67.5 inches. The $3,000 mower on the other hand weighs only 632 pounds, has a length of 76 inches and a width of 47 inches. The front tires on the $3,000 mower are 11 inches and on the $20,000 mower are 15 inches. The 20K mower also has no flat front tires. And as I already mentioned, the 20K mower has a track system with added suspension. Unlike the 3K mower which has small air filled tires and no suspension. Literally everything about the 20K mower is bigger. The seat, which is fully adjustable by the way, the floorboard, the frame, everything is bigger. Both of the mowers feature a step on deck. 
However, the $20,000 mower anti-slip foot pad makes things even easier. Both mowers have an easy flip-up floorboard with rubber grip. Both mowers have easy access to all the major components and belts. Both mowers have a small storage compartment and cup holder. However, the Altos TRX-766, the $20,000 lawnmower, has a 12-volt charging port as well. It also has a keyless entry pad, which is really cool, optional EFI, electric fuel injection, and a soft start PTO, which means less wear and tear on your mowing belt. Also, the $20,000 mower has a rollover protection bar since it's a commercial grade mower. As such, the 20K mower will be able to mow on hills and will go places that $3,000 mower simply cannot go. I'm talking shorelines, ditches, hunting trails, you name it and this mower will mow it. The transmission quality differences between these two mowers are night and day. You go from a non-serviceable residential grade drive system, the HydroGear EZT2200 unit, which is a really common residential unit, to a serviceable extreme professional quality system, the HydroGear 5400 unit on the $20,000 mower. For heavy users and commercial users, the 20K lawnmower will last a lifetime as long as you service and maintain the mower. Mower. That's not to say the $3,000 mower won't last, it absolutely will last a long time, especially if you take good care of it. In most cases, the MZ Rambler transaxles last over a thousand hours and sometimes as long as 3,000 hours. All in all, when you spend $20,000 on a lawnmower instead of $3,000, you get a lawnmower that will cut just about anything you put under it, instead of a mower that just does a good job cutting grass. Also, the more expensive mower will be so much smoother to operate, especially the Altos mowers. Because the Altos mowers have front suspension above the wheels, rear suspension on the tracks, a suspension seat, and a frame that sits on dampers. Check out our suspension test video if you want to see it in action. Or check out our video where the Altos mower cuts 8 foot tall grass. If you're interested in learning more about the MZ Rambler, check out the full review we did on that as well. Thanks for watching this video on the differences between a $3,000 zero turn mower and a $20,000 zero turn mower. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, that really helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to receive more videos like this one. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much and consider tapping that bell icon to be notified on when we come out with new videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless.